Hey guys, this is Kelly and I wanted to make a quick video of some products that I have recently used up and I started to save packaging and kind of forgot some so some I can only mention what they are and can't show you the package because I was an idiot and I threw it away and forgot so I'm really sorry but I have mostly skincare products I don't know why that happened but it did um, some hair things and just a little bit of makeup items, which is always fun to kind of use up because you get to buy more. So anyways, for my hair, one of the first things I wanted to mention is I have gone through two bottles of the Keratin Smooth Conditioner and Shampoo, and I just bought a new bottle, and it's kind of behind me in the shower. It's way up there. But um, I highly recommend it. It's really, really, really inexpensive, and if you have lots of hair like me, um, it's great and um, I've now started to wash my hair every three days instead of every two days. I'm getting really good with this. So um, yeah, I highly recommend the Keratin Smooth Shampoo and Conditioner. I prefer the conditioner and I seem to go through the conditioner faster than the shampoo. But yeah, I would highly recommend those. And then for my hair, this is, um, I used up the Lush Sea Spray Hair Mist. This is what it looks like and it basically is... Um, what you do is I have it in my hair right now and I love it because um, it just kind of gives me kind of lazy beach day hair and you guys know I have stick straight hair like naturally stick straight hair so this is the hair I get using my sea spray um, this is my second bottle I just got it because the other one I used up bone dry and I stick this in my beach bag and when I'm at the beach or like today um, today I didn't shampoo my hair so I just spritz this in second day hair and just uh, use that. So Lush Sea Spray, very, very awesome product. Um, the only downside to this is the product itself is uh, has a little weird residue in the hair. So you don't wanna like touch your hair a lot. Um, just style it and let it go, let it dry. Then mess with it and put it in a ponytail like half an hour later. Um, I don't know, that's just, it's something I've noticed like if I put it in my hair and touch it and mess with it, it gets weird film all over my phone and my fingertips and everywhere. So it's kind of nasty. I don't know. And by the way, my nail polish that I'm wearing is Coral Reef by um, uh, Sally Hansen. And my, my ring is gone. Um, I know a couple of you mentioned my new ring that I'm wearing. It's my mom's old ring, actually. And... Um, cause I'm getting married in 32 days. Yay. So my wedding bands have been soldered onto my actual wedding ring, my engagement ring and everything. So it's all like three rings into one massive kahuna. So I will show you that very soon. <laughs> but yeah, I'm wearing my mom's ring and so that people still know I'm getting married. Um, anyways, another hair item, which I cannot get over this product. This is the Redken number one outshine anti-fresh polishing milk and this is in mild control now this product is really hard to find I had to like scour and scour the lines to get a second one and I finally found one online and like purchased two but this is the best hair treatment for my hair and I have stick straight hair but I have lots of hair and it just leaves it silky and soft and I can put it through damp hair or dry hair. I love that. Um, and I don't know. This is probably the best one. And basically it says it's a defrizzifying, super shine and clean definition, light hair styler, which shea butter melts, um, outspoken shine and smoothness. And all you do is just apply a small amount through damp or dry hair. This stuff really is an anti-frizz. And um, it's been kind of weird and humid here. I don't know what the problem is. But we've been having really wacky weather, and this has controlled my hair like no other. So I highly recommend this product. This is my second bottle I've used up. And I should probably mention it in my main favorites, because if I didn't have this product this last month, it would have been a disaster. So I'm very thankful for this product, because it saved my hair on awful bad weather days. And then let's go on to skincare and end with makeup. It's not too many things. I don't know what happened. I used up like all of my Dermalogica stuff, which is terrible because I had to like repurchase the bunch all at once, which is like around $150, but that's okay because it works amazing on my skin. Don't see the skin? Anyways, so this is the Daily Microfoliant. I used this all up um, by Dermalogica. 
Um, it's a gentle exfoliant treatment and I use it at nighttime before I go to bed and it just gets all the muck off your face. I like if I don't use this product it is my skin literally like feels gross. So I use this every night at bedtime about a um, little less than um, kind of like a dime size for my whole face. So this big kahuna is like 50 bucks and I bought this at like Right before the holidays is when I bought this, so it's time. I normally buy two bottles a year, so it makes sense. It's almost June. It's time to buy a new bottle. So I used this up, which is really sad, but I got to go buy a new one. And then this bottle, um, I, this is the new one. I threw away the other packaging. This is the Active Moist. This is my moisturizer um, that I have been using, and this is my new bottle. I threw away the old one. I meant to save it, but this is the new bottle. Um, Active Moist, this is just my everyday moisturizer and if I didn't have this moisturizer I would have very oily greasy skin and this really controls the oils and the grease and I can wear any kind of makeup and I feel fine so if I didn't have this it would be very sad but I used it up um, like last week and, and got, had a backup bottle so and by the way Dermalogica products are rather expensive but if you buy them through Amazon not Dermalogica you can get them for pretty good deals like this is normally $35 and I found it on Amazon for $22 so you can always find alternatives on Amazon so I highly recommend that and then I got this little travel baby size of ultra calming cleanser which has rubbed off which is kind of sorry about that it's been in my travel bag and recently in the month of May I was doing a lot of little trips and overnight trips here and there and last kind of girlfriend trips before I get married because I won't get sleepovers anymore. So this got used up like really fast. And this is the Ultra Calming Cleanser and I don't know. I almost want to repurchase a full size of this because it really controlled my oils yet again. And it basically, um, what it says here is this extremely, gel extremely gentle peach balanced gel cream Cleanses without stripping off your skin's protective barrier of oils. Easily rinses away or wipes off, making it ideal for sensitive skin. Um, I don't know. This, I really noticed a difference in my actual skin as well. And this is the only other thing I've changed on my face this last month. So, I think I might need to get a large bottle of this, which is like $30. But I think it's going to be worth it. So, we'll see about that. Um... Ultra Calming Cleanser, you can see it at the bottom so you can see what it is. But this was just a little baby travel size that I got when I purchased this product. I got this for free, so that was kind of cool. Um, I really, really, really like it. I want to get another baby bottle size for my honeymoon because I've really noticed a difference in my skin, and I've had other people say difference in my skin, and this is the only thing I've changed in my skincare outside of exfoliating and using the daily microfoliant every night. This is the only thing I've changed in my skin and it has really, really changed and helped with my acne scarring. So I used to have like a really weird patch like right here and it's gone. Like within a month and a half, it's been gone and this is the only thing I've changed. So I don't know, go check it out. And then I used one of my masks up and it's really sad. I won't repurchase this mask. I'll ask this for like a gift or something just because it was like $50 and I just, I can use cheaper masks. I do not need to repurchase this product. It, I just, I have so many more things I would rather spend $50 on than a face mask. But this one was great. This is the Multivitamin Power Recovery Mask by Dermalogica. And I've had this Kahuna since like last year. And I rarely, I used it like once every like three weeks. I would use this once a month basically. And I'd use it right before the lady time. And it really, really, really helped my skin. Um, I think I needed a big skin fix over the last year. And I've gotten my skin to where I want it to be. So I really don't need to repurchase this. It's done its job. It's done a great job. If I ever have like horrific skin coming up again, I'll go back to this puppy. But I've used it all up. I squeezed it all out of its tube. So it's gone. It's really sad. But I was very happy with this product. And um, I highly recommend it. If you're having some skin problems, acne scarring or anything like that, this will help it like crazy. So go get you some if you want it. Um, the last two things are just three makeup items that I used up, which is crazy. Like, I don't know what happened. Um, this one is basically gone. This is the Carez. 
And I have two of these. I used up the other one in the color number 22 in rose. Um, I'm actually wearing it on my lips right now. And I like it because it looks like a pale nude. But it has a little shimmer to it. And I love it. It reminds me of NARS Orgasm Blush in a lip gloss. Which they make and I love. But I don't want to spend that kind of money on it. But this, I got around the holidays. I've used up, this is the second one of these I've used up, but it's, the packaging is really pretty, but it's time to throw this sucker away. But, um, well, one thing I will say about this is it's not sticky, and I love this. I will definitely repurchase it just because I don't like sticky lip glosses, and this is my second one I've used up, and they're great because the Carez line, like this brand, their lip glosses are just not, they're not, um... Uh, they're not like sticky or oily and it has a little shimmer to it. You can see a slight shimmer to it, but it's not a chunky glitter or anything like that. And that to me is amazing. So yeah, I used that up. So that's really sad, but awesome. And then I used up one of my foundations, which I've had this foundation for like forever, but I used up the Laura Mercier Mineral Powder in SPF 15 and in the color Real Sand. So this is the one, this is what it is. And I, I, I have nothing bad to say about this product outside of it's empty and I need to go buy a new one, which is fine because I've had this product for like over a year and a half, I think, is when I bought it. And this product, what it does is it basically, um, I just use it. I don't use it as an actual foundation. I put on tinted moisturizer. Um, I use the Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer, which I also used up. I'll talk about this in a second. And, or do a light foundation and just take a big fluffy brush and just dust a little bit onto my T-zone. And that's it. So this big bottle lasted me like a massive amount of time. So... I'm, I'm very happy with this product. I will repurchase it, like, right away, like, ASAP. Like, today. No, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, and then the last product that I used up, this is the oil-free um, tinted moisturizer in SPF 20. And this is the lightweight, lightweight Flawless Coverage and Hydrating Base by Laura Mercier. And I just love all of her products. I just... I actually just bought in my next haul, I bought another item of hers that I just tried today and I was blown away by it. And I was like, oh, why don't I own this? But as far as Laura Mercier products go, they're a little more on the expensive side, but it takes me like a year to use up any of it, you know? So I already have a backup one of these in my um, makeup drawer, um, but... Um, you know, just for summertime. Um, I'm actually wearing it right now, and I love it because it kind of gives me, like, a dewy face, and I, I love that in the summertime, just, like, dewy, healthy, glowy skin. That's what this gives me, and I'm in the color Nude, so this is the one that I used up, and it's just really light coverage, and I get a little bit of redness in my T-zone, and it just corrects the redness and just gives a little dewy finish on my skin, and I really love that. And I'm just very proud of her products. I mean, I, if I could recommend any one makeup brand of all the makeup brands I've tried, which I have tried countless endless brands, my favorite would be Laura Mercier by far. And I will repurchase any of her products. And I actually purchased a couple of her new products and I've been trying them and I'm like, oh, this is incredible. So I just highly recommend it. I should just do a Laura Mercier video. I should. That might have to happen. But anyway, so I used this 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 bad boy up. And anyways, those are the products that I used up. Um, you know, hopefully you learned a couple of things about them. Um, probably the saddest thing um, that I used up is probably my Laura Mercier Color and Real Sand and my Tinted Moisturizer. <laughs> and then, I don't know, probably just my multi vitamin mask but I love these products and I don't know I I've yet